Hello again. This time we're gonna look at how to fix RGB CMYK color shift problem using Illustrator. You design these beautiful business cards using all your imagination and all the possible filters and effects available in Illustra Illustrator and your client loved them. Uh, they look awesome when you print them in your inkjet but oops, there's a problem. When you try to convert them to CMYK for final printing output, um, I mean offset or digital printing, they look awful. Let's, let's look at it. So we go to file, CMYK color, color mode, CMYK color, and oops, our reds now are brown and we have no contrast and they look awful. And your client obviously won't pay for this, for this work. So, how to fix it without blowing our heads off? Okay, let's go first and go back to RGB mode with doc, uh, file, document color mode, RGB color. And let's turn off our guides and our text layers. And we're going to export this background. So, we go to file export. We select TIFF as the format and we name the TIFF business card background and we say export. You want to make sure that you keep RGB color mode and high resolution, use LZW compression and Macintosh format. We don't want to embed the color profile, okay? Let's say okay. Now we're switching to Photoshop to continue. We go to Photoshop and we open our background. Let's say open. As you can see, it's still in RGB mode. It keeps the color and effects you wanted. Make sure always that you use a bleed for your graphic. I'm using in this case 0.2 inches. Okay. When my background is cropped from the exported TIFF, we want to level it a little so we can get more contrast and it make it look better. So we go like this and we, inc we increase contrast a little and we go with sharpen. Why sharpen? Because we want it to make it look more defined and legible. I don't know if legible is a word in English, I'm sorry. English is not my main language. So we go to File, Save As, and we go to TIFF. Save, Replace, LCW, Interleaved, Macintosh. OK. Now let's go back to Illustrator and convert this to CMYK again. As you can see, we'll get this horrible color shift but we can fix it fast. Let's make a new layer, file, place, business card, background, place, and ooh, wow, this is just like I wanted to look. This is much, this is pretty much like, like it will look in your final offset printing, okay? Turn off your artwork original layer. If you want, you can lock your new layer. And let's turn on the layers for the text and guides and we're done. We have fixed this horrible color shift problem that we had before and we can now print with the confidence that it will look as, as, um, as good as possible. Okay, thank you for watching. My name is Danilo and see you soon.